All right, so we're here for round two. We're gonna hope that it goes a little bit better than that red match. We're on the play again, so happy about that. And this is a keepable hand, so this looks great. Um, so if we're playing with any against anything grindy, this deck, this um, hand looks great. And we've got a mold of six on the other side, so we're gonna maybe out card advantage them here. Um, so I could either play the Breeding Pool tapped, or play the Flooded Strand, and then see what they're going to play. I don't know. If if they if anything looks like it might be a Blood Moon, um, then go fetch for a basic island. But I guess we can do that anyway. So later. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the Breeding Pool now. I just don't want to like draw another Botanical Sanctum and then like save it for the third land. So we're playing a Mono Red deck. Basic Mountain Pass. I don't know what to expect here. Um, so we'll go ahead. So this is one where I, I want to go get the Basic Mountain now. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm where I'm off of my off of blue. Um, and we'll go ahead and play the. I guess the Silver Gill's fine. I, I've never really thought about it. What do you play first, right? Do you play the Branch Walker or do you play the Silver Gill first? Um, maybe the Branch Walker represents more power. So you play the Branch Walker first. We'll give that a shot. Why not? Uh, yeah, I'll keep Kamena Speaker on top. That way I can cast a Silver Gill Adept and him on the next turn. Although I don't want to run into an Anger of the Gods like we saw last match. So, but I'm going to keep anything that's a creature and kills them. Oh, so we're playing this, the uh, Steamkin deck. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure what to expect for this deck. I haven't, I haven't looked at this deck and I haven't um, played against the matchup. So, um, maybe we should look up what a Runaway Steamkin deck looks like right now. Like, MTG Goldfish. Let's let's take a gander at the uh, at the lists and see what they look like. Do they run terrible things that kill us in the main deck? They run bolts and stuff and fiery tempers. That's just fine. That doesn't scare me. Uh, we're gonna see anger the guys out of the sideboard. So again, this is what I'm talking about. I think anger the guys is gonna be everywhere. So um, they don't run blood moon, so we're not worried about blood moon. But we can dump our dump our creatures right now. I think and then set up for a potential like next turn um, spreading seas into Master of the Pearl Trident swing for a hell of a lot. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and swing out right now. For three here. Alright. So I guess gut shot's gonna be good here because you can just kill this steamkin before it ever starts getting out of hand. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and flood this board right now. I wouldn't do this um, if it was a sideboard game because I know that Anger of the Gods is gonna be around. Tormenting voice, sure. Discarding Arclight Phoenix, that seems pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if there's any merit to just like Double spreading seizing next turn. Kira's also good. They can't just like. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you cast three or more instants. Okay. I'm almost inclined to play cast Kira right now. Is that. A, is, am I crazy? Am I crazy to want to cast Kira right now? So if they bolt, they get a they go three. Th okay, so here let's think about this, right? Let's imagine they have a lightning bolt. I play a master of the pearl trident. Play a spreading seas. I guess if we play a spreading seas right now, we will know if they have a bolt, and then they won't be able to hit our master at least this turn. God, I love this fucking song by the way. This is Grandia two. Good song. Okay, so they don't have a bolt, or at least they. We're gonna use it right there. 
So that means that we could at least play Mass of the Pearl Trident and definitely get in for a big chunk of damage right now. And then now we're representing lethal unless they kill the um, the Master of the Pearl Trident, which I'm sure they probably have the ability to. I have never seen this deck go off. I suppose it is scary that like they're just gonna like represent more mana over and over and then the Arc Phoenix is gonna come onto the battlefield. Okay, well I guess they didn't get anything. So we outpaced them there. Um, so what do we want? We definitely want the Gut Shots because they kill the Steamkin. The Vapor Snag will reset the Steamkin. Spell Pierces are great, Negates are great. Um, Shaper Sanctuary, I'm not sure how much their plan is to just kill our creatures. Um, hmm. I guess Graph Diggers is fine because they're bringing stuff from the graveyard. I'm not sure, like, if we want to, like, have all of these, but... Um, let's let's think about what don't we want. Uh, can we cut spreading seas? So what what again does the deck? What creatures does the deck play? They play Swift Spear, Steamkin, Arclight Phoenix, and Bedlam Reveler. So we don't want them to stonewall us. So, like, maybe we do just keep in the Spreading Seas? Hmm. Uh, I think we can take out the Mist Binders. Um. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, we can take out the Phantasmal Images. We take out like the not the trickster, right? Well, definitely not the trickster because that can turn off Steamkin in a pinch. Um, so what we take out the like Curse Catchers are great here. This is another one where Curse Catchers. I love Curse Catchers. Um, maybe Kamena Speaker. Do we just take out and then only have twenty-four creatures? We're playing a more reactive game. Maybe we keep in like just not as many spreading seas, like take two out and then keep two Kamena speakers in. We'll try it. I again like I haven't played this matchup, so I'm not sure how to how to play it. Um, and this hand is a little iffy, but it's fine. One of these lands is a muta vault, so I'm I'm okay with keeping it. And let's just look here. What what exactly are we expecting? We're expecting Anger of the Gods and Blood Moon. So we're definitely gonna get a Sure. No Steam can turn one. Uh I actually I think we get we're just gonna get an island here because we don't wanna get Blood Moon out. Silver Good Death. What a great draw. So, so now we can just, we have our green, so we're good. Um, let's see what we draw here. Merfolk Trickster, that's a fine draw. Uh, and Merfolk Trickster means we can next turn, like just play the Muta Vault and pass. That way we can leave up Negate and Merfolk Trickster. I don't know what we would need to negate, but sure. We can go ahead and yield through this turn, I suppose. I guess we could negate like a ritual. Like, honestly, I want to save negate for an anger of the gods. Fiery temper, sure, that's fine. Fiery temper, me. That's aggressive. Damn. Ooh. 
Okay, oh, what are they planning? Ah, see, I want to play the Silver Guild Adept, but I also want to keep up this negate in, in case something... Like, I'm very... I'm scared of this deck because I don't know what it, like, it can do, how far it, crazy it can go off. And that bolt to my face scares the shit out of me. Because <laughs> I don't know what they're planning. And why they wouldn't hit my Silver Guild Adept. Maybe because they're, like, planning on... Um, planning on the anger of the gods. I think I'm fine with just like passing the turn um, with after playing Mute Vault and and then on their instep playing like flashing in Merfolk Trickster and then playing a land bolt me. Damn. Okay. They're going aggressive. They're just playing burn right now. This is this is an odd one. Maybe they're trying to empty their hand for um, Bedlam Reveler. I'm just not sure. Sure. Hmm. So I guess um, when talking about like why Deprive would be good. Um, I guess there's potential for Deprive here if they play a Bedlam Reveler. That's a creature where, like, Bedlam Reveler would be a good creature to counter because it represents a lot of. It re represents a draw three. So, again, here we're just gonna Merfolk Trickster. We're gonna try to start getting aggressive. Um, ooh, this relic is really good, actually. See, I definitely want to be able to counter the... <sighs> what could I do here? So... I almost just want to play the Relic and crack it. Because right now they have five... Like, they could easily, next turn, just cast a Be Bedlam Reveler. I mean, they've got four cards in hand. But I really want that Bedlam Reveler offline. And also we're at 10 though, so I could also, so my options are jam a lord, swing six, pass, um, and then, but then they could play a Bedlam, Bedlam Reveler. I could swing for four, play a Relic of Progenitus, and crack it, and then pass, and also have Negate up again. Um, I think that's what I want to do. I know that sounds a little weird, but they... <laughs> I'm just going to make him exit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but just force them to choose a card. <laughs> yeah, Gutshot is uh, good for a runaway Steamkin. Okay, so they're going to be at 14. The Gutshot is awkward because it's going to put us at 8 if we want to use it. Anger of the Gods. That's what I wanted to have a negate for, so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Or whoever your patron saint is. I don't know. We're not all Christians here. I'm just joking. Um, so I could play Double Lord, but that still doesn't save me from an Anger. Here we play... Master the Pearl Trident into Swing Muta Vault. Put them at lethal next turn. I think that's fine. I know we're not playing Silver Guild Adept, but I I'm just fine with that anyway. Braid, sure. Take six and go to eight. You're still at looking at lethal next turn if you don't play a creature. And even if you play a creature, I'm gonna kill that goddamn steam Ken. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Anger of the Gods is a good card. Sure, we're gonna kill the shit out of that. Okay. Now let's rebuild. Oh, 
Oh yeah, hell yeah. I think we're in a damn good spot here. Alright. We even, in fact, have lethal if they just have stone nothing lands in their hand or whatever. Hey, and we won the match. Okay, so that was Steamkin. They had an awkward deck. Like, okay, I just want to also explain that I mentioned Anger of the Gods, and in the first two matches we've had, what, five Anger of the Gods cast? So, I, I'm just saying, I, I figured that was probably going to be happening. So, we're one and one.